Hey crafty friends, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I am back again today with another DIY tutorial. Before I get started, I wanna give a shout out to my cousin April for the lovely flowers behind me and to her hubby, Dave McKinney. He's a fan of all of my videos, especially the DIY ones, so I just wanted to say, hey Dave, what's up? Today's DIY is from Dollar Tree. So, what are we making? We are going to be making these coffee koozies. Now, the cups are actually from the Dollar Tree. They are two for a dollar, so they come in a two pack. They are dishwasher safe and they are microwave safe. So these are a cool, pretty, nifty little cup that you can get some great use out of. But they don't come super cute. Um, they kind of come with these little sayings on them. And while that's okay, if you want to have some fun in your life and you like to craft and DIY it up, then why not make a cute little sleeve for it? The beauty about this project is that you can make a couple of them. It doesn't cost a whole lot and you can change up your coffee style every single day. I'm a coffee lover, so any kind of to-go cup for coffee in the morning is my jam. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you how I made these. Now I did make the coffee sleeves using a Cricut Make It machine, but if you do not have one, you don't need to worry about that. I have actually uploaded a PDF file that you can download from the resource library and get the file where you can cut it out um, by hand if you need to do that, if you don't have a Cricut Maker machine, and you can actually trace it onto the felt that we're going to be using today. If you do have a Cricut machine or the Cricut Maker, then you can actually get the coffee felt uh, cozy file from within Cricut's Design Space library. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you how we can make these coffee koozies. Now I do wanna show you just how far you can go into personalizing these things. Look how cute they are. They are so adorable. And of course I have the heart here. Um, as well. These also make great gifts for Valentine's Day if you have any girlfriends for like Galentine's. Um, these are super fun and cute that you can bring into the office and share with your friends. So let's get started. Okay guys, so once you have your felt pieces cut, it is time to actually decorate. So what you will wanna do is pick the felt piece that you're going to use for your coffee sleeve, and then pick out the embellishments that you want. And you can see that I have several different packages of embellishments from the Dollar Tree, craft stores like Hobby Lobby, and then I had this pink polka dotted ribbon lying around and this old rhinestone button. I'm not even sure where that button came from, but it was just in my craft stuff. So you don't even have to spend money to get a little bit of embellishments um, for your coffee sleeve. You can just use what you have lying around that you think is cute. Um, I like to make it girly and fun. And then what I did was I took one end of the coffee sleeve, sleeve and then I just glued it to the other side. So now it's secure in place and it's a sleeve that's permanent. And you want it to be this way, not glued onto the cup so that it can slide off and on on your cup so that you can actually wash your cup. After that, then I hot glued my little ribbon into place, and you can just see here I put a little dab of glue, and then I secured the corner edges down to kind of make it stick more to the sleeve in its spot where I wanted it. And then I took the rhinestone button and glued it down in place as well. And I just thought that this was super cute, super simple, and adorable. These would make great gifts to give to your friends or your family for Valentine's Day. Super fun. Then you can just put it on the cup and you're good to go. I also decided to add this little button detail on the back to secure the coffee sleeve seam into place. 
Okay guys, that's pretty much it for this coffee sleeve DIY. It is very easy to make. I have actually included an SVG cup file if you want to make the coffee sleeve using your Silhouette Cameo. If you have a Cricut machine, you can actually find a coffee sleeve project within Cricut's design space if you don't want to use mine. And I actually have a PDF included for those of you who don't have a craft cutting machine. You can just print that off, cut it out, and use it as a template. So like I said, it's pretty easy, pretty quick, and you can even just use some la leftover scrap items to kind of do the embellishments on the sleeve. You can see in the video that I actually added the button detailing on the back. The button is not functional. It's just something that I thought added a little extra detail, especially if you're going to be giving these as gifts. I just think it gives it a little something extra and it is super cute. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you make it, please put it down in the comments and let me know what you think. Or you can come to the Crafty Life Mom Facebook group and share the tutorial there, um, showing us what you made. That blog face group is full of craft DIYers and I would love to see what you guys make and see what you can share with others showing your projects. So come find me over there and until next time I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys it's Lane <laughs> To look at the lovely flowers behind me. They are from my cousin April and her lovey, lovey dovey, her lovey dovey, her ups kind of just come with these cute little, oh, lost my lid.